Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today we're going to do Ford Ranger 2016 3.2 liters, 6 speed autos. And um, my brother, Cars, will bring me for me today to do the flare. It's called the Jungle Law Kit again, similar as my uh, Mercedes outside. So we may have to take out and uh, do all the bolt and screw, like the Jungle Law look first before we put on the car. So all the bolt and the nut exactly the same shade, different smell. So here, bolt just for the look. And here is the wheel spacer. So you can buy, you know, because they are Chango style, that's what I call Chango Law. The flare, it come out 50, 50 mils, 50 millimils. And we know the this one coming out 50 millimil. We have to buy a wheel spacer for 50 millimil to bring the wheels out. If you don't want to swap the rims or tires on the car, so you want to keep original, get this one. It's the all Toyota and uh, Ford Ranger, all the same. Six by one three nine point seven. The wheel hubs are what I call wheel spacer. So all four. And what I'm going to do is. Uh, come to the car and bring the car in that's my mom do the garden see my mom do the gardening and grow some plant veggie and I do the cars and this is my uh, shit Mercedes jungle laws style I've been done and uh, ready for go to work on Friday so Friday I have to jump site and have to go to the world do some work and look really good outside here look really big and bulky that's what i want that one look similar see this is uh this is on the side oh he haven't ordered the side one yet so what we got first we do first we put the flare and we space it out first and we wait for the on the sides and then we put on later so this is the ranger 3.2 this one uh six uh, five cylinder and it has more power than my car Let's go inside and start it up. And we drive the car inside. So, not a bad car. It's uh, faster than my car for sure because it's a uh, 3.2 turbo diesel. My one the uh, 3 2.2 2.3 twin turbo, but uh, you know, smaller engine. No way in the world you're gonna beat the bigger engine. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna. Go for a lap, see how this one like, and uh, see how respond. So I reckon this one go faster than my one. And he haven't got the um, acceleration uh, pedal control yet, so who cares, man? So let's go for a drive first and see how it's like. See if I like it or not. So yeah, it pick up very fast. You pick up straight away, you can feel the difference. It's not like my car. So it's more powerful than that shit Mercedes I got. Not bad, see? So we're gonna drive inside and um, beam this one up. See how this look? See, it look uh, bulky. I am Mercedes. I don't care about how good it go, but I want the look, it look cool. That's all. The car may be shit, but it look cool. This one more power, for sure. Don't need to race, we already know. So very good. Inside the car, not bad, eh? 2016. Look like brand new inside. Look at the interiors. Look like brand new. He keep the car like his baby. It's all right. See, we got the baby seat on the back of the car, see? He the busy man too, eh? Hey? He busy man on the wheels or in bed. Anyway, coming in, coming in. Don't hit my little bike there. I have to fix that one tomorrow, man. So leave for a distance away. Yes. Okay, this is good. Okay, we try to explain for you if you want to uh, do your car, go to eBay and you can order the flare. See the wheel like this, the flare come out in five centimeter. If you don't have the wheel spacer, the wheel will look terrible. <coughs> and this one, the Mac wheels, 
been painted in black this one original from the rancher so we're gonna keep this original wheels we don't care we don't want to buy another one oh how come the lights on man anyway is the light on man okay turn up yeah it's up itself when you open up it's light up anyway this is how it look and uh, after i put on see how the different he haven't got the side yet he haven't got the side yet he haven't ordered yet he already got a chrome that's why i uh, i try to get one for my car so he got this one on so see what we're gonna do let's see how it look like huh this is the original form how it look like and um wait to see when we put them in see how bulky it look it's compared with my shit uh mercedes outside installed the uh, bloody nuts here for the wow looking wow style what called wow jungle low style you know the sticker <coughs> the sticker that protection the um, guard don't take it off just undo around here enough for the bolt to go through yeah, like that and uh, after when you install everything on and we take it off later because uh, just in case you scratch it and it look very terribly okay see that's how you do and um, pop up the uh, sticker and go inside and later we pull them all out later when you finish installation so now we put them on and uh, bolt them on make sure you don't want any movement on the on the bolt and screw again so make sure tie them with the red gun until you feel right it right because i don't want any movement and when it came loose and you can hear the bolt sound of the loosing bolt i don't like it so make sure they always make sure it's always tight super tight and want to stay there forever never come up come on sticker sticker man yep sticker man i, I scared i'm gonna scratch it, the paint so that's why i very careful man this is not my car man my brother car so i better make it look good when he um come back from holiday he may come and give me a kiss i said to him i got everything except money and love so you're gonna give me a kiss come on man take very long to do it oh yo 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 two installation very quick but to install this little bolt and nuts here for that little jungle look take very long so i got two smaller one, smaller one done and uh, they're gonna have another four big one to do okay good luck see how i do slowly take them up you do this it takes you longer but it gives you very good result back in about three years ago my brother used to have the um, same model this one 2016 Ranger and uh, he was taken to somewhere to install them on and you know what he took to the um, I don't know where to the dealer or Toyota dealer where he lived and they installed them on and they lift the plastic like this after they pulled it out you still can see the you know when the boat does bow down the screw bow down and you can see the plastic is sticking out when they pull up and look very terrible so do this it take a little bit longer but uh it will give you nice looking and best results almost all the boats are bolted on nice and tight and uh, ready for tomorrow to put on so every car is the same every part is the same when you order on ebay the to put them on look nice or not all depend on each person have a different skill so but i don't have that skill because i'm the power to repairs so what i do is i try to put them on maybe i have some secret secrets ingredients so maybe hopefully hopefully when i put them on and i hope it look good I may have to use my uh, secret ingredients okay it's a bit dark now 
the lights on and um, close the gate. Let go, have a rest. And uh, tomorrow we will put them on. Yeah, all the ferries on which side, on which side, I put it there. And you have to get the racks and clean it and take off the, the mud guard. And you have to line this one up first. You may install this one on first and then the little piece on last. That's in my secret ingredients. To install, you do one side first and you match up like this. And you will see where they go and all this. See all the bolt location. All this you have to take it off. And I uh, see the plastic holder here. That came with the metal screw holder. So that's what you need to do. Take it off and slide this one in the back of this one. And later you use the screw, screw them on. You move all the bolts out and now you can have to see that one. And slide this one. So you do that all and uh, before you install. So all this, you have to do slowly. If you know one side and you would do the other side much easier. So all you do is slide this one on. So this is very basically, so everyone can do this one at home and save your money. I oh, mean, oh, come on man, okay, go in. Okay. You know, I tell you what, all this plastic shit, plastic shit I'm talking about, this one is very shit. It takes ages to get them out. So turn one by one, some of them come out, some of them it plumped and it not even turn. So what you do is, see, one more lap. It took me bloody like 10 minutes for one side to undo this shit up. So, uh, better get all the tools and knife and racing and cut all the bastards here. So you can get it up. Otherwise, it's very annoying and very, make you very angry. Seriously, very angry. Top, this top flare here, just using one, two, three. And this one put the plastic one back and cover this one. So I took up the mud guard. The mud guard is here. Put one light up and then see one light up and then you see check the gap here. Pull the sticker out from here. Pull it out that way and it goes straight on and it goes nowhere. See? Make sure the line, the gap is right there. And you'll be right. See the gap there? See that one? So that's what I'm gonna do. I leave the gap there like that. Okay, but uh, I put this one on first, two, and then I follow the gap on this one, and I get perfect match, and I'll be all right. The first one, I line all the line up, and you see, you can come here, pop this sticker, and pull the sticker, and go straight down, and you never get it wrong. And you will know what I mean. So this one, all the way down. So it's going. So that how it should go, and one more. And uh, that how, see the sticker, they lay down, and you don't see any gap here. So that's what I say, say, it's on position. And you see all the gap, fairly close against the body of the paint. So good. So now, ready to screw all this one on, and we follow this line, follow this line, and we get perfect one. We can pull the sticker and make sure the line on this gap along there and put it out and go straight in and we'll be right here huh? see like the first one and the gap here beautiful and it's go on and you can see they don't have any gap that's coming loose so it's stay very close again the body that's what I call perfect sticker and the gap here is so beautiful see now you can screw in all the screw you can screw on now what I see the gap here is so horrible so this one still can go in there so I'm gonna put this mud guard on it's not like my uh, Mercedes so this one got the mud guard put it back and should be alright mud guard gotta go on see how good it look after when I put this one on that's how it should look and I tell you what it's twice as hard as at my more than my ship Mercedes so now I'll take off the sticker see how it look like and uh, see that here and uh, we have another three to go man it's uh took me long enough to do one side
Take it easy, huh? Have fun. Take it up. See how the look now? It's pop out, but the wheel need to bring out, and it looks so cool. Took me long enough for this far. I can't wait to get another one on and uh, put the wheel spacer on, and uh, it will be looking good. I'm getting very lazy now because it take too long to remove that bloody plastic out. Anyway, all look good. So last time, pull the sticker out and then put it down and we're ready for this huh? I have long enough to do this shit very hard to do this side because there are one joint here one straight here one joint there one joint there one joint there and all the way down make hard for me man I talk about make sure all the gaps are on properly and the last two of the sticker out and I got them secure very strong and very hard this is Simon installation can't believe it man I'm so genius man now do the wheel spacer and we'll be all right huh look at that not bad so luckily this one still can put the the what I call the mud guard on it's better than my one my one I have to took up the uh, mud guard not fair man time for the uh, wheel spacer I hope you can see I'm gonna do one by one and see how it look Check the wheels up and uh, quickly put the uh, wheel spacer on and I'll be happy. See how kinky it looks. Okay, original wheels, get out here. Actually, this wheel not too bad, not too bad. So, to install this one, to install this one, they're all 19, right? So I'll take them all out. Quicker, man. Come on, man. Six bolt. Too much, man. Okay, I'm using the original bolt to go in here to holding the spacer. So this one, the spacer is right there. So make sure take them all go in slowly. See that little group? We'll line this one up. So make sure it's alright. But first thing, I don't know. Is there any good or bad? People always tell me you have to put a bit of grease. Because this grease will stop the uh, the wheel stuck here broken. If you don't have the grease on, you will get it broken. You will get it broken. So better put some grease on every time you put the wheel stuck and uh, it's uh stop the rust too so that's why you better put a bit of grease on and uh i don't know it's working or not but someone told me i have to do what they told me man so all about the uh the tire specialist see see that little groups inside here see gotta go that groups go in there and light up slowly so you do that all to six light up before you using the gun so make sure they're all online so diagonal it, diagonal it, it should be very strong. I have no trouble with my uh, Mercedes. It works very well on my car, so it's all right. All by hand, make sure they're online and then you can use red gun later, okay? All gotta be light up because I try to get all the groups on and then you can do whatever you want, man. All yours, okay? I get excited man, can't wait to see how good it looks. And this car is very heavy. So my, my jack is 3 tons, 2.8, 2.8 tons, say 3 tons. Should be strong enough for this one. So before you tie them on, just put on the rudder, one, the rudder gun on number one first. And go slowly all around first. Back, back now. All one. Because I want to go in super light, okay? Super light up. Now I can go a little bit harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. Now I set my one to number two. I go three. Very fast. 
And it should be done. And then, steam, same old shit, different smell. See this one? Still got to put some this one on, grease on. So this will stop the uh, rust and uh, vibration. It never snap the wheel start out. That's the uh, wheel entire expert told me. So better do what they told me. This maybe save your life and uh, better for you, man. Okay, one on. Woohoo! Can't wait! Can't wait! Can't wait! Go move away! Move away! Move away! Fairly heavy wheels. So using your leg like this, see? All by your feet, man. And that's it. You can have your wheel out in five centimeter, and this one and that one is the same level. And put it down. Beautiful, sexy ass. And go at the front. Ha! You can see the car get very bulky coming out straight away. And look at the back. See? Similar as my uh, Mercedes. It's a bit dark again, but uh, the bonus scoop is turned up. And I installed the uh, bonus scoop. So you see how it looks on the bonus scoop. Same secret ingredients. Take out one by one with a sticker. And you can do it, okay? And uh, the sticker on the top here, pull it up uh, later, okay? Whenever you feel like it, we can pull it up. And now, do the sides. All real. Look really cool on the door cover. I like it. Look good. Look even better than my Mercedes, man. Very good. Nice. That's it. Nothing else I can make it better look than this one. And uh, the car show up a little bit better with the stripe. It's all right. I don't want to put too much because uh, he might don't like it. And uh, if he don't like it, he can pull it out. But I hopefully looking good actually. Far away, the red one, the red line show up very good. Beautiful.